Here in America, a summer camp was also the scene of another emotional reunion this week. It's an annual gathering for those youngsters who lost a parent or close relative in the 9-11 attacks 10 years ago next month. Michelle Miller has the story as part of our series, 9-11, America Remembers. Like many camps that dot the landscape of New York's Catskill Mountains, kids arrive here looking for a summer of fun, but most of the 85 campers share something else. Our parents and like uncles and family members all died due to like an act of terrorism, like there was no way to stop it. Victoria Santorelli's grandmother died in the World Trade Center on 9-11. She credits Camp Hayes with helping her heal. Everyone understands like what you're going through. Other people back home like really don't understand. Charlie Costello's father, Chuck, fixed elevators and happened to be nearby when the planes hit the Twin Towers. He ran in once, came out with the father and the daughter. He ran back in a second time and never came back out. He's a hero. Yeah. Charlie started to come to Camp Hayes when it opened nine years ago, just before the first anniversary of 9-11. There's only one time a year that I'll ever talk to people about like what happened when I was younger, and that's at this camp. Camp Hayes is named for Scott Hazelcorn, a 29-year-old bond broker for Cantor Fitzgerald on the top floors of the Trade Center. Hazelcorn planned to quit finance at the end of 2001 to become a school teacher. In the immediate aftermath of the attacks, many victims' families were paralyzed by their grief. But in just 10 days, the Hazelcorns launched a foundation in their son's honor that led to this camp. He wasn't really a Wall Street guy. That was just his job. His parents, Chuck and Janice, see the camp as a way to fulfill one of Scott's dreams. Scott had said that he would love to have had a camp where children stripped themselves of everything materialistic and uh, shared in each other's differences. And when He's, he said, he said that. that. Yeah. And when 9-11 happened, we said, what better way to honor him? Campers yeah. like Torin Alkins, <laughs> who lost his aunt, come back year after year and consider this a home away from home. People used to cry together, laugh together, and now um, it's not, not much of that goes on anymore, but we still know the deal. <laughs> Never gets better, it's just, they, have, they make it easier to deal with. We all love Camp Hayes. Ten years later, the children of Camp Hayes are pulling in the same direction, strengthening bonds born of tragedy. Michelle Miller, CBS News, Monticello, New York.